So today I've got some pretty exciting gameplay to show you guys. This is early access of Transit Remastered. It's like a Halloween bus depot sort of teaser. And immediately, aesthetically, this looks awesome. We've got like the green sort of lava looking thing. Ah, I'm on fire. Okay, I mean, I what was I expecting? Got like a Cold War quick revive machine, which is cool. The good old Transit Zombies. Do they have green eyes? It could be yellow. I can't actually tell. Yeah, no, it's yellow eyes. We're playing as Malton, it seems. But yeah, we have an actual buildable bench. I wonder, can we build the turn? Turbine. I don't think we can yet, but that, that makes sense. You know, this is early access. Let's go ahead and open the door. Ooh, hoo, hoo. What is that thing? Oh my god. <laughs> well, this looks sick. We have a pack-a-punch machine right here. Nice. I mean, immediately off the bat, I love it because it's a survival map. What is going on over here? The goop exploding. This looks so cool. We actually have a few more doors than in regular Bus Depot, which I quite like because Bus Depot for me, it would have been so much more fun if they had a Pack-a-Punch machine and perks, you know? But the level of detail, even in the foggy areas. Oh, I cannot wait for the full release. Oh, a nuke. Don't mind if I do. I love the BO2 HUD, by the way. What kind of game do you guys play in your free time? I have one that I literally cannot stop playing and it's Raid Shadow Legends. I know that was just an amazing choice transition there, wasn't it? Unironically though, I play Raid in all of my free time. It's completely free to play. There are millions of people playing, which should give an idea of how good this game actually is. You've got over 800 unique champions now, which is just insane. So you've got a lot of variety. Tons and tons of ways that you can customize each of your champions by building them. Updates are pretty regular, and there are some pretty exciting things coming in the near future for Raid. Raid actually want me to do something, I mean, kind of entertaining actually. They asked me to do a kiss, marry, kill for a list of Halloween champions. I thought, you know, let's just do it. Kiss, I suppose, logically, you know, we'll go with Madame Sari. She's a really, really cool looking champion from the Dark Elves. Pretty overpowered in the old arena, but hey, that's just my opinion. Who would I marry? Probably Brachus the Shifter. I love werewolves, like the whole aesthetic of this guy is absolutely awesome. His A2 ability literally attacks an enemy six times. Their passive is literally called beast mode as well, so it's hard not to love them. Who would I kill though? I mean, I'll be honest, it's gotta be Siffy, the Lost Bride. I'm just... Anytime I see a Siffy on the enemy team, I just know that I'm losing. <laughs> Aesthetically, she looks really cool though, I'm not gonna lie. I think I can speak for everybody when I say that everyone likes free stuff. Not only is the game free, but if you log in for seven days from now until October 23rd, so you know, I'd suggest you get in on this pretty quick, you can get a free legendary champion called Sun Wukong, which is Raid's take on the Monkey King from Chinese mythology. And this champion has quickly become one of my favorites. One of their abilities literally steals every single buff and then blocks them from being able to place buffs. Like, that's just so, so strong, not gonna lie. However, something really exciting, I'm super hyped for this. Prime gaming drops are coming back, meaning you can get some special in-game goodies, which are pretty awesome. A free champion who I actually already own, but Burangiri? I mean, just look at the aesthetic, they're an absolute tank. So if you have Amazon Prime, be sure to link your raid account to Prime Gaming and you'll be able to get your hands on some even more free stuff. It's just free, free, free everywhere. If you've not started playing raid, then I highly suggest that you get into it. Use my link in the description or scan the QR code on screen right now if you want to get some pretty cool bonuses. You can get the epic champion Talia for completely free. She's from the Sacred Order faction, one of my favorites. Aesthetically, they're all really cool. You can also get some energy refills, skill terms, XP boosts, etc, etc, which are all going to really help you out, especially in the early game. So yeah, thank you very much Raid for sponsoring this video and we'll get back into the content. All right, so we got Jug over here just... <laughs> it's like hanging out the barrier. Well, that's kind of cool. Oh, we can actually pick up the ladder. Interesting. Does that mean we can go somewhere? What's back here? Ah, Deadshot Daiquiri, the Cold War one. Nice. Uh, we could do with picking up a gun. I can't afford. It's an XM4. Oh god. Let's spin the box, actually. What are we going to get? What is that? The M60. Don't mind if I do, actually. Probably one of the better guns we could get. Whoa. Interesting. There's something to do with the bodies. That must be a visual glitch. When you shoot, it sort of splatters the blood as if they're standing in front of you. But you know, this is early access after all. There are going to be a few little minor things that need changing. But for the moment, this looks great. I mean, I don't suppose we can add the ladder to this, can we? No, I thought not. I mean, normally you'd be able to add it to like the bus, but obviously there is no bus here. I guess we'll spin the box again. Do we have any wonder weapons in here is the question. Well, of course, like a Pellington. Oh god, I'm almost dead. Jesus Christ, just because I can't snipe for shit. Good job, me. So obviously the full version isn't going to look like this. This is just like a Halloween release. 
Oh, we got BO4 announcer as well. I like that. Honestly, one of the better parts of BO4 was the announcer. I, I really liked his voice. In theory, where could we put this ladder then? Oh yeah, no, it's definitely for the bus. They, these aren't going to be useful then. So we just picked up the other part. What's in here? Oh, the power switch. But we need 1500. So uh, a bit broke right now. Oh, I heard Ted speaking. Ted? Is that you? Oh my god, the boss is... What? <laughs> Wait a minute. That's so cool. Ted is actually outside. What's up, bro? I'd love to get on the bus. Uh, the bus is a little bit glitchy. The barriers are like rendering in and out, but that's a cool little Easter egg. I like that. Well, we can open this door now. Turn on the power. How's this going to change the map? Oh, look at that cold wall perk. All lit up and glowing. I wonder if there's going to be any like Easter eggs that you can do. I imagine not because this is like a development preview and all, but I imagine they put something in, you know, like a little out of map. Oh my God. I didn't even notice the dude just hanging here. What the fuck? Sucks to suck, bro. Oh, double points. Don't mind if I do. They brought back the exploding zombies. I wonder if PhD is going to be on this map then. That would be so cool. The boss is honking, dude. Can we actually get on it? Nah, there ain't no way. Wait, the boss is moving. It, it, it just left. <laughs> what the hell? That's actually so dope. Not going to lie. Oh, I see Mule Kick over there. Okay, let's go pick up Juggernog. What are the perk icons? Hey, it's the Black Ops 2 ones. A hell to the yes. So apparently Michael Myers is actually on this map. I don't know when he's going to spawn in. I'm going to guess it's like round eight. We've got 2,000 points. Where is ye old double tap is the question. I feel like I've run past it. Oh, a death machine. I'm very curious what it's going to be actually. Oh, it's the BO3 one. I might as well open this door, I suppose. So we got speed cola here. Pick up part. Oh, and see, another bus part. I mean, the the, re the fact they're giving you all of the bus parts and the bus is actually outside the map. I'm not sure when the full transit remaster is going to come out, but I don't think it's too far away. But you already know I'll be making content on it the second that it drops. I'm going to save up for Pack-A-Punch, actually. I was going to open up the next door, but I think it would actually just be a little bit better, you know? All right, that was the round. Dude, I miss when the round counter would actually flash white when it changes. Here we go, though. Pack-a-punch the M60. What's this going to look like? I wonder what the pap camo is going to be. Ooh. Gluttonous Titan. That's nice. It's quite fitting for the map, actually. I, I like it. Hello, boxes up here. Anything I can shoot, maybe? Ooh, this, this gun's a beast. I'm very curious, though, because I haven't seen a double tap 2.0 machine yet. Which makes me wonder, did they get rid of it? Perhaps they didn't, but it'd be interesting. Maybe it's the BO4 system or something. Oh my god, look, Jigsaw. Where we have to, like, pack a punch it multiple times to get more damage, but I don't think so. You know, I'm probably just blind and dumb and I've walked past Double Tap already somewhere. We haven't gone through here yet, so, you know, we'll open this door. Oh, it doesn't open up this one, though. Interesting. Anything in the old back here? Ooh, whoa, what is this? I can walk through this, 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 the chair? Okay. I am in the sofa. Don't slap me. Wait, am I immortal? Wait, I actually am. <laughs> okay, we found a bit, of a, a bit of a glitch here. It's fine. This is what I'm here for, dude. Playtesting. Another jigsaw. What's up, bro? I imagine most of this was just chucked together anyway because... Oh, hello, boss is back. Hey, what's up, dude? But yeah, they're like blocking off this area because, you know, it's not meant to be blocked off usually anyway. But bro, Ted is just back here. What's up, dude? I, I can I can barely see you over there. What What is good, dude? These grenades are like little pumpkins. They look cool. Kaboom. I guess we should probably pick up Speed Cola next, I think, considering how long the old M60 reload is. What is that thing, though? That looks sick. I guess it's just part of the aesthetic, but I really like that. This is actually like just playing and shooting the zombies is so satisfying. The mod creator has done a really good job of just making this feel smooth. I mean, obviously, the bigger the map is, the less optimized it's going to be in theory, right? But so far, I can tell you that I am not experiencing a single frame drop whatsoever. I wonder if we've got a ray gun mark two in the box. That would be interesting. Only one way to find out. Let's keep an eye on the block. Oh, I see Lilani's in there. Okay, monkey bombs as well. We've got a OTS. What game was this from? Was this from World War II? Or was it BO4? I forget. Having a bit of a mind blank. It's decent for points, though, at least. Oh, we're going to max ammo. <gasps> Time to do the test. Does it reload the gun? It doesn't, actually. Interesting. I mean, it's kind of fitting for the whole BO2 vibe, I suppose, then. But would be nice if max ammo's reloaded that gun. But, you know, can't necessarily complain when you've got all these cool features. Oh, what's this? Hold F for part. Oh, there's a shield part in there. That must be what the buildable is, then, huh? Let's go and see. Additional parts required, of course. Well, if I remember correctly, the transit shield only ever had two parts anyway. So we can probably find it just laying around anywhere, somewhere. 
Bro, I've got to stop burning myself, dude. Ah, I'm red screened. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, we're fine. I forget. I don't have quick revive yet, so screw it. Spin the box. They got sprinters already. Jesus. M14 of some kind? Is this the... Uh, oh, it's a good one. Oh, my God. That's the fastest I've seen an M14 kill a bunch of zombies. Oh, it's a DMR. That's why. We have 5k points, though. You know, screw it. I'm packing punching the M14, dude. Gimme, gimme. The Demolisher K14. Still not seeing the old Michael Myers, though. Oh, what was that? Part? Hey, a shield door. So can we build the shield? You can craft a zombie shield. I mean, obviously I can't do it yet because we need to uh, wait for the end of the round. But oh, it's a burst. Nice. My skills are oh my god. Just played a fucking stinger, dude. What is that spawning in over there? I think I saw it. Is it Michael Myers? What the hell, dude? What the hell? <gasps> is that him in the back? Oh shit, it is. Oh, I'm not a fan of this. Bro, I don't want to shit my pants. Oh, Michael Myers, dude. What the hell? Oh god, move out of the way. It even plays the Michael Myers music. I've got to like try and keep this low then. Oh my god! He just started sprinting at me. He dropped a free perk though. I'll take it. Um, I kind of want to pick up Quick Revive first just so we don't get that in, in case, you know. Oh my god, dude. I almost shat my pants. I'm not even kidding. Like, he was walking, I turn around, he starts sprinting. Holy moly, the stamina up is good. I think this is the Cold War stamina up, you know? Oh, oh, oh. oh that scared the hell out of me. Round 12, though. Kind of like the, uh, the Dorison Drak Panzer, then, I guess. Oh my god, sprinting with the death machine. <laughs> Look at this, dude. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, as Negan would say. Walking dead quote. Beep beep. Hey, what's up, Ted? I see you in the back. Oh my god, the bullets just fly off the bus. <laughs> Look at that, dude. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Where'd we come from? All right, box spin time. I'm actually going to buy Mule Kick if there's a, perk, there's a perk limit. Tragic. What do we get? The Pellington anyway. Whatever. I'm a fan of his DMR, you know. I might get rid of the M60, even though it does have 1,200 ammo, by the way. Really damn OP, if I do say so myself. Oh yeah, the zombie shield. We haven't crafted it yet. The AK-47, not bad. Fuck it, we'll just craft it now. What's the worst that could happen? Boom, zombie shield. Melee attack. Oh, <laughs> they're getting bonked, buddy. Bye-bye. I was always a big fan of a transit shield. It only takes two parts to build. It was, it was very reliable, but the reason it sucked was because you were forced to either have the turbine or the shield. You could not have both, meaning like... For the entire early game and most of the setup, and to be honest, most of the game anyway, because to pack a punch you need the turbine, breathe, breathe. You would pretty much always have a turbine in your back pocket. Unless you were doing like high rounds and you've, you're you like fully set up and you have a shield on your back. No, I mean, it doesn't matter if there's a perk limit actually, because obviously Michael Myers clearly drops perks, so we can exceed the limit, which is good. A uh, street sweeper. Cold War guns. Oh yeah, the Otis that I got earlier, it was a Cold War gun. The duh, I mean, Cold War perks, it makes sense, right? Is there anything I'm missing outside the map? I wonder. Got these little, like, pumpkins up in the sky, can't shoot them. Anything off in the distance, perhaps? Oh god, hello. Duble Pointes. I mean, what a state the zombies community is in, where we're literally begging for a transit remaster. Versus, like, any new content from the actual developers. Like, it's just crazy to think about. Considering Transit for the longest time was considered one of the worst maps of all time. It was mainly because obviously it was rushed, but yeah, seeing Transit get the development time it actually deserves, and multiple people working on a Transit remake as well, like, that's just so cool. LC10, I'm good. Carpenter, I wonder if it refreshes the shield, because that would be nice. One of the best changes in BO4 zombies, frankly. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy fucking shit. He actually jump scared me. That was terrifying, dude. He literally just spawned in my face. Oh my god, I've only just... <laughs> oh, okay, free perk. Free perk. I'm so sorry if I peaked my microphone and it sounded awful then, but Jesus, bro. That was terrifying. Give me the nuke. I don't give a shit, dude. I wasn't expecting him to come back that soon, you know? I've only just spawned in my face. Oh, shit. Teddy bear. Teddy bear? There's multiple box spawns on this map? Interesting. Oh, we did get our hands on mule kick, though, which is good. I guess the bus does just make, like, a full loop of the map. It would make sense, you know? They're not gonna worry about taking it out the map. What was that? The Abigadro's back! Bro, we already have Michael Myers. Why is he yellow? What the heck? Bro is, like, shaking, dude. I can't. How am I supposed to deal with you? There's no, like, there's no galvanicles. 
I don't think anyway. I didn't see any. Got a double points. Can't complain. This DMR might be one of my favorite guns in a while, actually. I'm not going to lie. It just, it just melts. It's only a two-round burst as well. Trouble is, we're out of ammo, actually. So, uh, got to switch a fire sale. Okay, not bad. All right, well, I think we've got one zombie left. Uh, where is the box actually spawning? Oh, it's like right here. Well, we can get a double spin in. I mean, PPSH? Don't mind if I do. Oh, it's even... I think it's the World at War PPSH. Or it could actually be the Cold War one. Let's just get out of here, dude. <gasps> he even has BO4 quotes. That's cool. Knife, 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 knife. Bro is tanky. I didn't see Galvan Knuckles anywhere. <laughs> he is not gonna die. Come on, is it on the wall somewhere. There's gotta be... Anything? Something? Also, without double tap, this PPSH doesn't exactly do as much damage as I was hoping, but... Oh, good point. Maybe the uh, Galvan Knuckles will be in the box. That's a possibility, I suppose. Why am I spinning it right now, dude? We're, we're, we're in danger. Ah, don't slow me! Oh my god. Thank you, zombie shield, actually. Saving my ass. Let's open up this door. I can do a full loop of the map now, at least. Oh, it's just so annoying, but he slows you. And you can't shoot through him as well. I can deal with him as long as there's no Michael Myers, you know? Come on, get out, get out. There we go. Give me the goddamn Max. Oh, hi. Where'd you come from? Okay, what are we going to get? A sniper. All right, I'll swap out the M60 just so we can do it faster. I don't think... I've not seen a Wonder Weapon in there yet. HK21. Not bad, not bad. Swiss K something. It's a sniper. I mean, it has a sick sound to it. The org? Okay. I forgot the org bar was from Cold War. I'm actually in such a bad situation right now. Uh, we're fine. We're fine. What is this? I'm getting a phone call. One second. Hello? Hello? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Do you know Kip Boga? Bro, that's actually hilarious. I just got a fucking phone call scam from, like, O2 or whatever. I've been watching a lot of Kip Boga, if you're familiar with, like, scam baiting videos. I was tempted to go along with it and troll, but I need to get this recording done, you know? I mean, I, can't, I don't have time to mess around with random Indian tech scammers. Like, it is what it is, dude. Also, why am I hearing, like, Minecraft hit sounds like i'm not going crazy am i like that well what was that like i i swear that sounds like minecraft the china lake i mean it would maybe be your oh shit no that was not a good idea i was gonna say maybe it'd be a good idea if we had phd but we do not so what is this the galat the hell is a galat i mean it's one-shotting i guess that's decent <gasps> ah! it's on my face again why do you do this, bro? Why? Why did- Oh, he died instantly. Oh, I got double tap. So that's the only way you can actually get double tap is if you get it from Michael Myers, I guess. The more you know. Because yeah, I wonder how many perks are on the map. We've got all of them that are like physically on the map. Oh no, we haven't. We haven't got dead shot yet, do we? Ah, okay. Wait, I just got like a double fire sale. What was that? I swear it was back to back. We can do a triple box spin though. Look, we've got one box here. One box here. Another box right here. Holy shit, we got Lilani's. Okay, don't mind if I do. An org. Spin this one again. We got the Otis. Meh. Spin this one. The KSP. Go and spin you again. Dude, this is the most efficient box spinning I've ever seen in my life. Random ZRG. We got an RPK. The Milano. Yeah, we definitely did get a double fire cell because it's lasting a while. All right, what did we get here? Oh, it's a crappy sniper. A 1911. Another sniper, bro. Oh, it ran out, damn it. So where is the actual box then? Did my shield break? No. Somehow it survived. It took so many slaps then, just then, but uh, where's the box? Did it, it disappeared, dude. If I just, I mean, is that it? Those are all my, my turns done? Oh, it's in there, okay. Oh, so it has to be in the most awkward spot imaginable, doesn't it? Right here. Oh God, with the explosions. This is not a good place to be. Let's, let's throw an Arnie, you know? Fuck it. Go Arnie, go Arnie. Screw it, we'll throw them all. Why not? Oh, Jesus. Oh, hello. Death machine spawning on top of me. All right, we've got like one zombie left. Let's just, uh, let's hit a few spins. I would absolutely love, even just a regular ray gun, dude. I want to, I want to see. Because it would be so cool if they put the Cold War ray gun in. I don't think they did, but, you know, only one way to find out, right? M16. I mean, the Cold War M16 is pretty good. The EM2, not exactly my favorite gun. Oh, and then we get a bloody... Hello, Ted. What's up, bro? Let's let him break our shield. There we go. Always best to get a new one. Well, at least the box is now going to be in a good spot. Like just here, here, or here. One of these three, please. This one. Okay. Come on. Come on. You know you can give me a ray gun. Oh, of course. Oh, God. oh, I'm stuck. I'm just dead. I shouldn't have been using the sniper, to be honest. It is what it is, dude. This is not good. Oh, and of course I got another sniper from the bloody box. 
Oh, move, move, move. Oh, I lost my PPSH. That's tragic. What did we get? All of this for an Otis? Oh, God. Give me the speed cola. All right, stamina up. Quick revive. We'll get through. Oh, speed cola makes us drink perks faster. I love that. We lost double tap, though, which is so sad. Oh, God, this gun sucks. What do you give me? The marshal? Oh, my God. It didn't even fire when I shot. How did I get out of there? God knows. I can't say this is very good, though. Can we just get rid of the bloody crawlers, please? What did we get out of the box? What did we get? Uh, MP5, okay. suppose it's all right. I'm, I'm just going to use the M14. I don't know why I'm trying to, like, be all crazy and use a different gun. Whatever, dude. I reckon we're going to get Michael Myers very soon. Monkeys? I mean, we ran out of Arnie, so I suppose it's good. Monkey bomb. Ooh, okay. I mean, I'll take the street sweeper, actually. Whoa, I threw a monkey. I guess it fell out the map or something. Pew, 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 pew. I mean, this is a pretty decent shotgun, actually. We've got a max, which is nice. Let's just, uh... Come on, ray gun. The Farah. I mean, it's basically the Galil. Suppose I'll take it. Give me that max. A little bit worse than the Galil, but... Okay, it's actually kind of bad without double tap, not gonna lie. I haven't even seen the Raygun in here yet, so... Maybe it's not even in the box. That could be a possibility. Oh, hi. What's up, pussy? Oh, of course. You've got to just come out of nowhere. RPD. I mean, I'll take it. This guy's like, unkillable. Oh, an insta-kill. Oh, yeah, I need that. Get out of here, dude. Oh, shit. Move, move, move. And a carpenter. Okay. Bro, insta-kills just make the rounds go by so fast. Knife. Knife, knife. Okay, I got rid of him. Jesus. And the round ended. Good, good. Let's pack a bunch of the RPD. Screw it. How good's it gonna be? Oh, 1,200. Holy shit. That's a lot of ammo. Gonna last us a while then. Let's double pack a punch at the, uh, oh, it puts fireworks on. I like that it says it in brackets at the end. I, I kind of almost prefer that. Not that it's bad to have the little, the logo, but I just like the color coordination or... I don't know. Oh, hello, Michael Myers. Dun 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 Where the hell is he? Where is he at? Did he just disappear? I mean, with a shield, it kind of makes him a little bit less intimidating. Ah, here he is. Get the hell out of here, dude. Double tap. Gimme. Makes my gun actually decent. And a fire cell. Okay. Don't mind if I do. Oh, God. Oh, that was close. Spin a few boxes. Insta-kill. Oh, I don't know. I can't even see what I'm doing, dude. China Lake, Pellington, and the Howler. I mean, actually, I'll take it. One of the best guns in Cold War Zombies, if not the best. Let's see how it does in Black Ops 3. Oh my god, it's a, bur a three-round burst Howler. <laughs> That's OP. That's fun. I like that. This mod so far has been really surprising me because when you pack a punch it, you get something different, which... It's literally what I was talking about recently, where Black Ops 1 Zombies was sort of the last game to really focus on that. Making it so that everything you pack a punch becomes something a little bit different. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Plus, you know, it's a three-round absolute machine. Maybe the ray gun is just incredibly rare. I think that's pretty much going to do it, though, for the preview, because we've seen basically everything. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Be sure to stick around my channel, because I'll be doing content on this map when it fully releases. And yeah, thank you very much, Raid, for sponsoring this video. I'll see you in the next video.